What's going on, everybody? My name is Tanner McGrath, and I cover Major League Baseball here at the Action Network, and I am gambling on baseball on this fine Thursday. Two bets I have on this slate. I'll share them both of you here, starting with the Yankees money line, hosting the defending World Series champion Astros. I know it's daunting to bet on the absolutely horrendous, nobody loves them Yankees, but I'm just not that high on the Astros right now. Um, they're starting Christian Javier in this start, and he is a guy that's lost fastball velocity. He has seen a significant drop in his stuff metrics. He can't locate anything, especially his slider, which is going nowhere close to the zone. He's going through a slump where he's allowed 26 earned runs over his last 27 innings. I don't know if he's tipping. I don't know if he's hurt. I don't know if he's just bad, but I'm fading him either way. The Astros are going to see a boost in the lineup now that uh, Altuve and uh, Alvarez are both healthy. But they generally perform better against left-handed pitching anyways. I mean, they're probably just a league average offense against righties, even fully healthy. So hopefully, Yankee starter Clark Schmidt can have himself a good day today. He's been up and down all year, but pitching models love him. I mean, he's got a 106 stuff plus across his arsenal, 105 pitching plus would make put him among the top 10 starting pitchers in the league. You have to think that he's close to breaking through. Maybe just a little bit of tinkering here or there. He's also generally a half run better at home. So I'm going to give him a little boost for that today. The Yankees cannot hit the ball. But I do give them a slight or significant advantage um, on defense, on the base paths, and in the bullpen. Especially because the Astros used four of their top five relievers yesterday. I love me a gross home underdog. I'm taking the Yankees today. Second pick, I'm going to go with uh, my Blue Jays. The Orioles are in a tough spot. 80% uh, of their rotation arms are about to hit career high in innings. Their bullpen is getting gassed. Look at Yenier Cano. I mean, his arm slot is dropping because he's tired. And he's given up, what, a 5 ERA over his past month. So what did they do to fix that problem at the deadline? They picked up uh, Shintaro Fujinami as a middle reliever and Jack Flaherty as a back-end rotation guy. Not exactly your ideal deadline if you're an Oriole fan. Flaherty starts today. He's got a 4.7 expected ERA. He's got a 4.9 ERA over his past seven starts. And he's still just walking so many batters. I mean, 12% walk rate this season after 13% last season. He's going to face off against perennial AL Cy Young contender Kevin Gosman. Gosman is a stud. You know Gosman is a stud. He struck out 44 batters over his past 29 innings. He took on Baltimore earlier this year, went eight innings deep, only allowed two runs on six hits. He also tends to be a better pitcher at home, a uh, sub 2.5 ERA in Toronto this season. And you can pretty much always give the hard-hitting Blue Jays the lineup advantage. Bo Bichette's injury sucks, but they picked up Paul DeYoung at the deadline. Uh, he's a guy that can replicate a lot of that production. And over the past two weeks, the Baltimore Orioles are third to last in WRC Plus against right-handed pitching, a measly 76. Toronto is eighth with 112 during the same stretch. I think the Jays steal this series behind their ace and their offense. And I think that Baltimore's lackluster deadline moves are going to bite them here. Take both these picks today. Best of luck on all your wagers over the weekend. Check back into our YouTube channel for more of these picks.